what's up y'all i wanted to drop you guys a little download about spiritual escapism so today is very popular to be like i am the universe i'm enlightened i'm full of love i'm divine consciousness and we're pulling that information from our crown chakra which is true you are connected to the universe you are the one with the spirit of the universe of everything you're connected to divine love you are divine love but a lot of times we leave that energy in our crown chakra and we go there to free ourselves but we fail to integrate that information down into our other chakra so you could say one minute i am the universe i am love and light but in your third eye chakra you still see don't see through all the illusions around you, you say i am the universe but someone's oppressing me and i'm fucked and the world is shitty and blah 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 and your third eye is still closed you're not seeing how even with everything going on you still are the universe everything still is connected you still are divine love that it didn't go away just because you haven't pierced through those illusions in your third eye yet and then you can say i am the universe i am full of love blah 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 and then you don't bring that into your throat chakra so when someone offends you you can say something really nasty back to them you can say well they were being mean to me they were trying to limit me they were trying to harm me but you didn't bring that divine love, that oneness down into your throat chakra or your heart chakra. You can say, I am the universe. I'm full of love, but I hate these guys. I hate the far right. I hate the fascists. I hate people like this. I hate the colonizers. I hate X, Y, and Z. And you have all this hate in your heart, but how are you the universe and connected to everything and divine love? So this energy gets caught in our crown chakra. We fail to integrate it all the way down. And even in our... Uh, solar plexus we can get caught up and say i am the universe yet when someone limits me i feel ashamed i feel so stuck i feel so angry i feel so bitter and you haven't cleared the energy up in here you haven't cleared the energy in your root chakra you say i am the universe when you're in your escapism and you detach from your body you detach from the world you detach from your life i am everything i'm astral projecting whatever but when you go down into your root chakra you feel like I'm disassociated. I'm not even here. I don't feel connected to my life because all these illusions around me and all these people and bullshit, they're making me feel so, they're pushing me away. They're not letting me shine my light. So this, that's what it looks like when you have your crown chakra wide open and you go there to escape from life, but you fail to integrate it down into all your chakras, which I have done this. This is probably describing the last two years of my life. So I wanted to spend some time today to show you how to take this energy from your crown chakra and pull it down all the way to your root chakra through all of your chakras so that that divine energy, that oneness, that profound love doesn't just stay as a idea or a philosophy or an escape you can go to, go to, but it becomes a reality completely and consistently in your life. And you can see how you are so responsible for maintaining that energy in your body and no one can limit you unless you allow them so what does it look like to pull that down into your third eye so you, your crown chakra is saying you're connected to everything i'm one with everything we're all the same spirit it's profound divine love it's eternal this body is limited this form is limited okay pulling that pulling that down into your third eye chakra you say it may have appeared to me that someone was limiting me. It may have appeared to me that someone was harming me. It may have appeared to me that I was stuck, but in actuality, I was facing a riddle that I was meant to solve and that no one can actually stop me from solving that riddle, debunking that illusion and revealing the reality of oneness and divine love behind this illusion I felt stuck in. So when you pull that down into your third eye chakra, you begin to see it. the things around you that you once felt stuck about. You once felt angry. You once felt frustrated. You pointed a finger. You said, these people and that people, and they keep building this bullshit. And all these things are out of order. It's out. Everything's going to shit. All, this feeling you, all these feelings you felt frustrated about the world, about your situation. And when you pull that energy into your thir third eye chakra, you can see this is an opportunity. We are all learning as humans. This is the story is not over. There's been some illusions people built, people based things off of, people created whole ideologies, whole religions, whole political ideas off of these illusions, but they are not real and the reality is still there and we can all help open it up and heal and solve it. So I'm here 
facing this illusion. This illusion is not stronger than me. It's not realer than me. It's not more powerful than me. It cannot limit me unless I buy into the illusion that it can. And I'm here to bust it wide open. And I know as soon as my third eye accepts this reality that all around me, it is still imagination. It is still divine consciousness. It is all still divine love. It may be arranged in various illusions, but I have the power as a creator with my imagination and my love and my energy to transform and heal and solve these riddles. And this helps humanity evolve because now we become more self-aware as a species. These are the illusions we can get into. These are the traps we can fall into. Now we know what happens when we believe in this lie and we found our way out of that. That means when you're faced with a tough riddle, it's your job you're being called to solve this riddle, to explore. And that's how you integrate it into your third eye chakra. When you integrate that energy into your third eye chakra, instead of waking up in the morning feeling anxious, anxious, feeling stuck, feeling frustrated, you feel free, you feel like I'm going to explore, I'm going to do some divine work today, I'm going to heal something today, I have a gift to bring to the world, and you feel excited about it, and you feel very clear-minded, you don't go through all these toxic cycles, and your mind was like, I know I'm divine energy, I know I'm the universe, but these people think this, so I can't express it, blah, 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 that goes away, this duality goes away, and instead you see Everyone is love. Some people are more confused and more lost than others, but I'm using my clarity to help heal others. And when you pull that divine energy from your crown chakra into your throat chakra, instead of being angry, oh, well, fuck you. You tried to limit me. You're trying to mess with me. Oh, you're a low vibration. Oh, you're lost. Oh, you believe in lies. When you judge, instead of judging people, instead of being angry, instead of talking from a place of defensiveness, you can talk from a place of love. When you integrate that energy into your throat chakra, when you're faced with someone you would have saw as an enemy, instead you see them as a lost soul, like a moth coming to the lights. They are attracted to you, even if they seem like a hater. They're attracted to you because they want your energy. They, they feel your energy. They like your energy. And while on a certain level, you might be threatening their ego, you might be threatening their illusion, and it seems like they want to fight with you, they're really coming to heal. They want, to, they want you to heal them. So instead of facing your haters like, I'm love and light and you're a low vibration and judgment, 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 and get away from me. Instead, you'll say, hey, are you okay? You need something. You seem stressed out. You want to take a deep breath? Let's go outside. Can I pray with you? Do you need help with something? I'm here to help you. You sell them. And when it seems like, oh, they're, they're fighting against you. They're, they're trying to tear you down. You'll be able to take that energy and see how you are consciousness looking at consciousness. And you are built to heal consciousness. You'll look at them and say, hey, I don't know if you got the wrong idea. But I'm on your team. I'm here for you. There's so many ways you can deal with a situation where someone's hating on you. But when you, when you put that energy into your throat chakra, often you can tell a truth without feeling like you're defending yourself, without feeling threatened. And that truth will pierce through their illusions. They can be hating, 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 projecting, all of this. And as soon as you open your mouth and that truth comes out, they have no choice but to sit down and think about what they just said and start rethinking where they were coming from. Your truth is more powerful than other people's lies, more powerful than other people's illusions. And when you bring that divine energy into your heart chakra, all that time you used to hate, oh, I hate this, I hate this system, I hate that, I hate these kind of people, I hate these lies, I hate this ideology. Instead you can say, we are all one consciousness, we are all expressions of God, and we are allowed to become lost and deluded in our own human personalities because that is a part of the process of understanding who we truly are and we're all coming back. The story is not over. And so when you put that into your heart, you can say, I love everything unconditionally. Even the most evil people, even the haters, even the most destructive people, I love them too. I love them as who they were in their mother's womb. I love them as an infant. I love them as their innate human potential. Even though they chose a certain path, I still love them. I don't love them as the demons they pretend to be. I love them as the humans, the divine creators. I know they really are, even if they don't see it. 
And I'm choosing to use my imagination and my heart, my energy to imagine them lovingly. Your imagination changes other people. And the more you love them earnestly, divinely, even use some of that tough love, hold them accountable with love, the more people change. But when you're like, I'm the universe, but I hate these people, but I hate that, but they don't know they're trying to, that's you're strengthening their paradigm by buying into it. So you have to see everyone as love. And when you do that, you can feel free and you realize I'm here to help heal them. I'm here to show them what love really is. I'm here to show them what reality truly looks like. And they cannot limit me because I'm real. They can't, they can't limit reality with an illusion. The illusion is not real reality. It's untouchable. There's nothing you can do to get rid of it. And when you pull that energy into your solar plexus, all that shame you felt, oh, I let them... I let them limit me. I let them steal my potential. I let them ruin my dreams. I let them, I let them. Oh, I'm so angry. I'm so bitter. All that energy you say, they can never. My creativity is so profound. The energy is so profound. It's interconnected with everything. It's woven to the fabric of reality. No one could ever stop what I'm meant to create. No one could ever get in the way with, with, with what I'm meant to create. And you feel that openness. You feel the freedom in your creativity. You see every single avenue you have, every opportunity you have to express where otherwise you thought there was things blocking you. And when you pull it down into your root chakra, you say, this divine cosmic energy is not just my imagination. It's not just something that isn't physical somewhere else, somewhere I go. It is the physical. My divine imagination is the physical. This is all the divine imagination. And I'm here as a divine creator, as real as it is in my astral projection, as real as it is in my trip, as real as it is in my dream, as real as it feels in my prayer. It is always that real. And I'm here in every atom of my being. So I challenge you, if you find yourself doing that escapism thing where you live in this dualistic world where one side is super divine and profound and the other side is so dark and gloomy and trapped, pull down that energy from your crown chakra through all of your chakras so that the paradigm is aligned through all of your chakras and nothing can stop you. You are truly unlimited when you integrate it throughout your entire body. Ashe.